another glorious day at the end of June 2019 and this evening I've just come down to my garden because there's a bit of weeding needs to be doing. Uh, it has been wet for the last week or fortnight and I haven't been able to get on so I've decided to make a start and this is the hedge which I planted which shelters the garden. A lot of hawthorn there but also there's this which is hazel. There's several hazel plants put together here to make this piece of hedge and I just saw this. So I thought I'd come along and just see what he's doing. I think he's just taking, it's a bumblebee obviously, taking just a little bit of rest in the evening sunshine. The shadow of my phone there is, try and get it out of picture. Um, I just, he was preening himself a minute ago, moving the pollen off his uh, whiskers, but now he's decided, oh no, sprung into life. I just thought he might carry on doing that, but uh, I won't. One thing you might notice is, in fact, these leaves are remarkably similar to elm leaves, except that they are symmetrical. Where the leaf comes round and meets the stem, they are perfectly symmetrical. Look at that. Where an elm leaf invariably is asymmetrical, with one side much higher up than the other. I mean, the other side might be right down here. I'm just going to go back to the bee and see what he's doing. Moving around to get a bit more sun, obviously. Just hope that's in focus. Oh, he's having a jolly good stretch and a scratch. Is he going to take off and go home? I'm not sure. He's preparing to. And also on these hazel leaves, you'll see they've got this double serration as well. There's the little sawtooth edge to it, but in between that there's the bigger serration as well. And that's just typical of elm leaves, a double serration. They don't have the horns like some of the elm leaves. They just have the apical spike, which you can see there. And just looking down the other way, this hedge actually needs trimming. There's my hoe, which I'm just going to use in a minute. And this hedge really needs trimming. I'm going to, next week, take it right back. Uh, these new early summer growth needs pruning away. Uh, and then I can walk up and down here with a mower. Anyway, lovely evening tonight in Stragglethorpe. Bye for now.